From healthcare partners, doctors, and medical staff, we wish all of you a happy holidays. Happy holidays! News 46 is brought to you by Comfort Hospice Care, where we give our patients and their loved ones peace of mind, knowing we provide the highest quality of care 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. For more information, call 751-0349. News is also brought to you by the St. Therese Mission, a future venue for cultural and environmental events near Pahrump. Get involved. Visit us at stthereseemission.com or call 702-507-4172. Tonight on News 46, many gather around to see the community Christmas tree lighting. An Act of Kindness Award is presented to a high school student, and a 16-year-old entrepreneur gives some advice to kids his age. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell and Jason Koblenz. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening. It's Monday, December 9th, 2013. I'm Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. Multiple accidents were reported on State Route Highway 160 between Las Vegas and Pahrump on Saturday because of weather conditions. The Nevada Department of Transportation crews treated the highway in an effort to make travel conditions better. There was a fatal accident shortly before 9 a.m. on State Route Highway 160 and El Capitan. The accident is still under investigation. It's unknown if it was related to the weather. The Pershing County Nevada Sheriff is searching for a family of two adults and four kids who went out to play in the snow on Sunday and have not come home. 34-year-old James Glatton and 25-year-old Christina McEntee are missing along with their children, a 10-year-old, two 4-year-olds, and a 3-year-old. A search including a Navy helicopter went on through Sunday night and after suspending for a couple hours resumed this morning. The decorating party for the community Christmas tree has been rescheduled to this Saturday morning because of the weather. However, the Christmas tree lighting went on without a hitch last night in the parking lot of the Saddle West on Highway 160. Ten, nine, eight, eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push the button. Well, the tree comes from Bend, Oregon, and they helicopter it out of the forest. Then they truck it down to Long Beach, and our truck driver extraordinaire, Don Stout, right over there, goes to Long Beach and brings it in. Valley Electric stands it up, decorates the top, and if you look, we're not decorated. We had to cancel the decorating yesterday because of the weather. Hopefully, we can get it decorated uh, this week. You got Santa and Mrs. Claus here? I know, and they're doing such a good job. And they came in with sirens and lights and very, very fun. You know, it's a community tree. You know, I would like to see it bring more of the community together. There, there's too much, too much um, division in the town and in the county. And I'd like to see this, this tree in this time of year bring us closer together, you know, and celebrate the holidays and, you know, and Christ our Lord and his date of birth. I think it's a fantastic opportunity for the community to come together during the holiday season. A little bit of cheer like this helps people forget a lot of the things that are going on. And I think that the partnerships that are built during this time are fantastic. Uh, Assemblyman Oscarson can talk about uh, Mountain Falls and their contribution and Karen with K9 and her contribution. But I think it's just a wonderful opportunity for people to get together. I think, uh, Deanna, we're just grateful to be here, uh, to have the overwhelming support of the community and the community partners here to make sure that this event actually happens. Karen at K9 is instrumental in making sure all these things happen and how they come together. Uh, all these other folks that are, that are a part of this, Mountain Falls certainly showed up big time tonight with the hot chocolate and the coffee and all the uh, 
all the cookies and things that they brought. Judge Wonker and her crew from Drug Court are out here participating and helping us. Uh, it's it's just a great event, and when you look at the families and look at the children, seeing Mr. and Mrs. Claus here and Search and Rescue here brought Mr. and Mrs. Claus in, and the, with the lights flashing and, and all the all the fanfare, it's just great. All we need is the reindeer here, and we'd be in great shape. Every day you drive by and you will see families out here taking pictures at the tree, but the funnest part is watching the kids decorate because they climb up in it. They're on Dad's shoulders. I mean, it is just so fun. It's making uh, family portraits right here and memories definitely for uh, the community and for people who are passing through town. So next Saturday we'll see everybody out here once again? Yes, 10 o'clock. Is there anything you guys want to tell the community out there? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas everybody and please come out and see the tree and, and support these great efforts from the people who've done these things here. Thank you. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from the 5th Judicial District Court. From our court to you. Have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas from Pahrump Party Supply and Pahrump Paintball. Happy Holidays. Hope you have peace and quiet in your life. And to Mrs. Claus here from the North Pole next to Saddle West. We just had our tree lighting of the community Christmas tree, and it was wonderful, and all the little children were here telling Santa what they would like for Christmas. So those of you who didn't see Santa tonight, please send your cards and letters to Santa or Mrs. Claus, and you could drop them in the big mailbox right in front of the post office. And Santa has a message for everyone in Pahrump. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Yeah, definitely get in your cards and letters. You can just address them to Santa, to Rudolph, to Mrs. Claus, and just put them in your mailbox, drop them in a regular mailbox around town, or put them in that giant mailbox there at the post office, and they'll get them to Santa. We'll see everybody out there this Saturday at 10 to decorate that tree. An Act of Kindness Award was presented in front of Walmart Saturday morning to a teenager who has racked up thousands of hours of service to our community. Brought her in front of Walmart Shopping Center, and the bell ringers are here. There's a young lady here, Robbins, oh, oh Sarah Robbins, that's uh, out here volunteering her time to help make a better Christmas for people in need. She also serves dinners and everything for senior citizens. She volunteers her time. I've been doing over 2,000 hours of volunteer work. And this is what our youth is all about. They're out here trying to help the people of Prump to have a better Christmas. So at this time, I'd like to present Sarah Robbins with the Act of <laughs> Kindness Award. After what I heard about you, young lady, and all this is done by letter form. Please, if you have anybody you'd like to recommend, do it by letter. Robin, would you like to read it? Sure. Act of Kindness Award presented to Sarah Robbins. You have given your, so selflessly of yourself, having volunteered over 2,000 hours to others. You are an inspiration to the youth of Pahrump. From the citizens of Pahrump, Nevada, no act of kindness is ever wasted. I feel very surprised right now. <laughs> I'm, I did not know this was going to happen, so... Well, Darby over here nominated. Oh, <laughs> Love you, Darby. <laughs> Darby, you nominated Sarah. Tell me about the nomination, why you decided Sarah Robbins. Because Sarah puts so much time and effort into every single thing she does, and no one ever recognizes her for it, and they're just like, oh, that's Sarah, she always does that. This is what our youth is all about, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're trying to find out what our youth are, come up here, put the money in the buckets. They're up here trying to help the Salvation Army and the people here in Pahrump. Let's keep it going. And Sarah, thank you very much for thank your you. work and uh, you're deeply appreciated. Thank you so Thank much. you. And that, of course, was Butch Andre Harper there, the founder of that Act of Kindness Award, urging everyone to please, if you have somebody that you'd like to nominate, you can give us a call here at the station at 727-9400 and write it out to Butch or myself. After the break, Marty Salt discusses cancer care costs. Is there a cancer crisis? It's very costly to treat, very toxic to treat. What this doctor thinks will improve care next on Prescription Health. 